Hello everyone, it's Linda here and I'm back today with a, another little Easter treat box for you. So this is like a decanter style box and I've done them before for Easter. This time I've done faux windows with this cute little bunny looking out in various different positions. Okay, so I'm using the same punch that I used for my last Easter project. Um, and I'm also using some celebration products as well. But anyway, I'll just show you how this box works. Now the last project that I put out that was quite similar to this a couple of years ago, opened at the bottom like this one does. There we go. Okay, so we've got some Easter treats in there. Now I've packed these up in a little package. If they were to go in there individually and are unwrapped, the top also opens, okay, so you can access them this way as well. Okay, so that's quite a nice versatile little box and actually the other nice thing about it is when you remove the ribbon and whatever you can fold these flat and store them away until you need them and decorate them how you like. So anyway, that's my little project for today and I do hope you like it. And I'm going to pop it to one side now and I'm going to show you how you can put one together. Thanks very much for popping along and joining me. Okay, so I'm working with Whisper White Thick Cardstock. And this piece measures 8 and 3 quarters by 7 and a quarter. So I'm starting on the long side that measures 8 and 3 quarters. And your first score line is going to be at half an inch. Then you're scoring at two and a quarter, at two and three quarters, at three and a quarter, and at three and three quarters. And then you're coming along to the six and a half inch point and scoring, and at eight and a quarter. And so then turning it onto the short side, you're going to score at one and three quarters. at three and a half, at five and a quarter, and at seven. Okay, so now we're ready to do some burnishing. So I'm going to start burnishing from this end here, working my way towards these, okay? So I'm just going to Start there. Okay, so I've got as far as there, and we have three remaining score lines here in this in the middle here. So now what I'm going to do is fold this one back this way. Others are just all going to go the other way. Like that. And then what you should end up with is something there that looks a bit like a step, if you can see that. Okay, so it should be looking like that. Okay, so now we are ready to do some cutting. So I'm going to turn it this way up. So we've got these, this band of sections here. So starting at this end, going to lose these four sections here. So the four corner sections are going. Okay, and we're going to do the same on the other end. So those four sections there are to be removed. Now what we're going to do is just snip down here and here. the way and then I'm going to divide this square here in half 
like that and the same with this one. Okay, and we're going to do exactly the same here. So we're just snipping down that under and just dividing this in half okay so your template should now be looking like that okay just realized I didn't burnish those lines I don't think which is dark let's do that So it's now looking like that. So now we're going to do some cutting along this line here. So I'm going to turn this this way around. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way around. And I'm going to take my scissors. I'll go from this end first. So what you want to do is you want to cut from this little corner here up to that point there, like this. Okay. And then what you're going to do is snip the on the other side. So you're going to form like a triangle. Like that. Now if you've got the envelope punch board, you could be using that to punch out at this point. I'll go through that with you in a moment. For those of you that would prefer to use your envelope punch boards. Let's just do that. Okay. You don't want to make them huge triangles. And then you just want to finish off here by doing half a triangle. Like that. So when you open up, that is what you should be looking at. Okay, now if you had the envelope punch board and you wanted to use it, what you would have done, where I've cut those, you would be, I'll grab the envelope punch board so I'll show you, probably confuse the life out of you now, but if you had the envelope punch board, you would be looking at this line here, you would be putting that into your punch board so that the nozzle is central there. You would punch there and you would go all the way along that line there punching. But So where I've done these you would end up with punch holes. Okay. So if you want to use an envelope punch board if you've got one you can but this is for the benefit of the peeps that don't have one. Okay so we've, we've gone that far now. Let's just do that. So what you should find when you do this you end up with a diamond there so that's actually worked out quite well okay but before we go sticking it together we're just going to put some panels on okay so for that I've selected this color which is lemon lime twist okay and I used papers here from the gorgeous gingham gala six by six papers and they are absolutely stunning colors there we've got there's a blue in there lurking Okay, but I've gone with the lemon line twist. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I'll take these bits away for now because we don't need those. And what you will need to do is just put each of these four panels in the centre of these panels. Okay, and these four panels here measure two and a half inches by one and a half. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and get that glued down. Okay, so they're all stuck and in place. Um, I'll take this one now. So this piece here measures one and a half inches squared and that's just going to sit in there like that. Okay, so 
So just let those go off. So while that's drying, I'm just going to take my corner rounder now. And I'm just going to round off this corner. This one. My dog chewed this, so it's falling to pieces. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so templates now looking like that. Okay, so ready to decorate it. And I'm going to save these two little squares for the very end. So now, this is when having a nice collection of layering punches comes into its own. Okay, I'll just pop that over there. Um, got here a piece of cardstock. Okay, so what I'm going to start by doing, actually I need a couple of pieces of what I actually need is a piece of lemon lime twist but I'm going to start with this one first so what I'm going to do is I've got my one inch circle punch and what I'm going to do here is punch out four circles and I'm putting it a little way in you don't want to come near the edge okay you want to sort of head for the center as far as it will go and you want to punch out four of these okay And then I'm taking my one and three eighth of an inch scallop circle punch and just going to centre that over each of these circles and punch out. And they're going to go flying everywhere. Now I'm using lemon lime twist to match my DSP, that's the beauty of um, stamping up their cardstock. Um, a lot of their cardstock are designed to match different packs of designer series paper. So you can see the lemon lime twist here matches beautifully. Anyway, let's pop that to one side. I've got a scrap bit here. Now this circle here measures one and a quarter inches. Okay, so I'm going to punch out four of these. So we've got those. I've used this I think on my last video, so this is the gorgeous Bunny Builder Punch and I've used the same stamp set that I used for that project which is the best bunny one and what I've done, I have mounted the head and the little face that's within that stamp set and I punched out or I stamped out four little bunny heads using soft suede so this is soft suede ink on crumb cake cardstock because I wanted that to be very well defined colour wise okay now you can see that I have stamped the heads like that at an angle and the reason I've done that is is because if you look at this punch the little head there when it looks at you that's also on an angle Okay, so that is going to be easier for me to punch. And so I was going to stump, stamp the bunny's head out for you, just to see how it goes together. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it again. Just so if you were stamping, okay, you would go oh, using my bits. If you were stamping, you'd stamp it at an angle like that. Okay. And then I've mounted the little face here and then that just simply goes in there like that and how cute is that <laughs> love I love this little stamp set and the co the coordinating punch brilliant great for Easter I'm getting some mileage out of this one so so all you do now is just position your bunny head in there when you're happy you've got it evenly spaced within that punch just punch out it will punch out other bits as you've just seen not much I can do about that okay so now I'm going to just snip that out of the way and move on to the next one just snip a bit more Oh, 
I'm just going to repeat that process now three more times. So I've now got my little bunny heads and what I'm going to do I'm going to pop that one on there like that and I want it so the ears are just like popping through so it looks like he's peering at you okay and I'm going to stick stick it down so three of them I'm going to stick like that And I'm just going to work out, actually I'm going to stick it together at this point. I'm going to take some double sided tape, just run that, actually I'm going to run it down here. And then, oh, I want a bit over here as well, silly me. Bring that over. Okay. Oh, that's stupid of me. Don't put it on that bit. <laughs> oh, let me pull that back. There we are. You've got a blooper in this one. Okay. We don't need that. You don't need to go right up to that point there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, how daft am I? I'll do it for this side. Okay, so forget you saw that. Okay, so we've got this looking like this now. So this is the top of the box. And I'm looking at that and thinking, yeah, that is going to go in there. You could cut some wedges if you wanted out of that, out of these bits. But I think I'm going to be all right. I'm going to take my little chockies, I think, at this point. So you can see I've got quite a generous amount of little Easter chocolates. I've packaged them up in a little little plastic um, self-sealing package so that's going in there like that okay so that is the back of my box where those both fold in okay so I want to put the remaining bunny on the front and this time I'm just going to do it like this so I'm just going to stick this to there And then, I oh, didn't do a very good job of that, there we go, there we go, and then just stick this on here, in the centre, turn it on that way. Okay. And for this bunny, I'm going to have him, oops, coming out. There, I'm going to have instead of peeking out like these, he's going to be fully out. And to do that, I'm just taking a dimensional. Okay, so I'll just pop that on the back of his head. And pop in there. Like that. Okay, and then I'll just stick the other ones back on. And I'm going to do them in different directions so I'm going to have one of them going this way one of them going that way that one I think and on the back I'm going to have him looking upside down why not
Okay. So there he is. Looking rather lovely. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is just take my sentiment. Now the sentiment that I have chosen for this project is from my set here, Bella and Friends, which I've been using on a lot of projects. And there's a nice little stamp here, which is small enough for this one inch square, which says enjoy. So I'm just going to load up my stamp with my lemon lime twist ink and I'm going to stamp on the on the skew oh, upside down <laughs> there we go like that okay pop that away I should just stick that onto so that's a one inch square um, and this square here is one and a quarter inches okay so I'm just gonna layer them up like that and then just grab my dimensionals again which are here I'm just gonna gonna be extravagant put one on each corner Okay, and that's just going to sit in the center of that square there like that okay and I'm going to finish off with this lovely ribbon and this ribbon is let's see what it is called it's reversible it's a reversible ribbon and it is in lemon lime twist and uh, coastal cabana Okay, so really pretty colours here. So I'm going to do it with the coastal cabana side showing, I think. So I just cut myself off a piece and tie a little bow at the front. Okay, so I've got the bow all sorted out and I just thought I'd like to just add a little bit more embellishment here up the top actually now that it's finished um, so I've got here some more punches and I'm a punch girl and I don't think you can ever have enough punches so these are the um, Bitty Blooms punch pack so you've got four um, and just to decorate the top of my box here I've decided I'm probably just going to go with that one okay so you've got these oh it's got a dimensional wrapper on it <laughs> So they come in different little designs and this one here is quite handy because you've got like um, the centre of a flower there, the round one, and this one creates nice little leaves. Okay, but I'm just going to go with this one just to decorate here the top of my box. So I've decided to decorate it with um, flowers in this colour, Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to punch out a couple. I'm going to decorate it with these pretty sparkly um, glitter enamel dots. So I think what I'll do, I'm going to keep it all nice and very well coordinated. So I'm just going to pop off a couple of these. I think I'll pop those on with a couple of little mini dimensionals. Okay, so we do our dimensionals in two sizes, but these little mini ones are brilliant for little pieces like this when you're embellishing your projects. So nice to have them in two sizes. Okay, so I'm just going to pop one there. And I think I'll pop the other one there. Should I pop it there? Um, I don't know now. Oh, I'm going to pop it there. Decisions, decisions. Anyway, there we go. I just felt it needed just a little something on the top there. 
so that's it all decorated all finished um, it's a cute little project um, I hope you like the, you like the fact that you can open it each end um, and also that you can fold these flat and store them away so anyway that's it from me today thank you for joining me um, if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my blog which is www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk on there you will find a link to my 24 hour online store where you will be able to purchase any of the products that you see me use for my project today. Okay, so that's it from me. Bye for now and I'll be back again with another project for you very shortly.